Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, yes, I have on the same, uh, I don't have on the same hairdo. I have the same hairdo. Same shirt, same day. <laughs> I decided to knock out a couple of haul videos today. So, um, as you may remember, I did go to an estate sale on Saturday. And I didn't go till late. Um, it started at 9. I didn't go until 12. I wasn't going to go at all. But then I was like, eh, what the heck, I'll go. My son came home early from fishing with my car, so I said, eh, I'll go. Well, I'm glad I went because um, everything I'm about to show you cost me, I'm not, you know what, I'll wait till I'm done. I'll wait till I'm done showing you, then I'll tell you how much I spent. <laughs> I decided to have more coffee too. <laughs> Okay, let me just start with this picture that I got. Um, I got it mostly because I liked, you know, the, the aesthetic of it, the frame in that. It is a family picture. And I just thought it was really neat. I love the background, like the curtains and the windows and it's just really, really cool. So I grabbed it. You know how I am with old pictures. Next time my daughter comes over, it'll be, who the hell are those people? <laughs> then I got two books. Fostoria, Useful and Ornamental, The Crystal for America. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Nice book. Mm-hmm. Got this one. And this one. Y'all know how much I love the Cubist pattern. And they had a collection of Fostoria Cubist. <laughs> so, I got those. I got this for me to hang in my kitchen window with my other little sun catchers. Isn't it cute? I love it. So, that's mine. Hi, Binksy. <laughs> Here he is. Do you want to say hi? Say hi, Binksy. No. Okay. <laughs> then I got uh, these. Look at the graphics on here. Oh, I love those colors, too. Uh, they are the little drip things that you put um, on your candle holder. And then you put your taper candle in and it catches, these catch the candle wax. And there are, these are glass. Those ones are. Okay, so there's two sets of plastic ones like this. And then we have Two of these, which are glass etched. Then there are these three, but they are different patterns. This one's got starbursts. This one is like the other two, and then this one. I have to wash them though. So those are pretty cool, I thought. I, I just, for the graphics alone on the box, it's awesome. Then I just got this cute little hot pad. I love these handmade um, linens and hot pads and doilies. I just absolutely love them. 
It's a lost art. So I got that. Then I got this pocket posh Christmas crosswords. And it was only, I think only like maybe one puzzle got worked. But there are 75, this is the one that got worked. But I didn't see any uh, any other ones in here. So I thought that I would possibly send this to a friend of mine. Oh no, he likes word search. Maybe I'll give it to my mom because she loves crossword puzzles. So I'll give her that. Um, she'll enjoy that. Look what I got ya. Isn't that cool? It's from 1941. Oh my God. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That's amazing. I got my son from, um, from this, um, yeah, I showed it already. It's awesome. <laughs> from my last video. Thank you. You're welcome. That's amazing. And these are finally my prints of my personal best fish so far this year that I have to get frames for. Alrighty then. All right, so that's gonna go to mom. Then they had these boxes of just all kinds of like random stuff. So I just pulled out, this is all like postcards and stuff that I pulled out. And this one is um, the Allegheny Reservoir. And it's one of those fold out ones with all the different pictures and stuff. I thought it was kind of neat. So I just grabbed, grabbed them out. There's all kinds of different postcards in here. Weatherburn's Tavern. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, look at this. What is this one? Casa Loma, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Look at that castle. Oh, look, here's a Valentine. 1928. Don't keep your heart clear out of reach. I want it to be mine because I think... You are a peach. So be my Valentine. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> that was cool. I didn't expect to find that in there. I thought they were just all like. Thank you for the book. You're welcome. Oh, look at this. This is cool. Um, what is the postmark on here? Perhaps 1911? SS Isle de France. We are rolling along fourth day out. Have kept reasonably sober. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> well, alrighty then. <laughs> um... Yeah, so anyways, there's just a bunch of postcards and stuff. I'll finish going through those. That was funny. <laughs> um, then I got this. Um, I think, believe this is uh, for stamps or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, well, wait, what does it say down here? Sengbush Deal Jr., Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I don't know. I'm assuming that that's exactly what it is you would put maybe a book of stamps on there and it rolls so hopefully i'm right but you know you never know um then i found oops then i found um this ink pad and some black ink i thought maybe that might come in handy so i picked that up that was also in the box with the postcards um, I also got this. I believe this is a night light. And it reminds me, it reminds me of a doorknob. Um, we used to have those doorknobs in my old apartment where, where I grew up. Does it work? Nope, it doesn't work. Oh, well, it ju I just saw a little glimpse of a light. Hold on, it might, it might have to warm up. We'll see what happens. 
All right, then I found this down in the Christmas um, decorations. There wasn't much vintage left, but I did find this. Brand new in the package, made in Hong Kong. So I got that. Um, I got this. This is a nice vintage nut chopper. As a matter of fact, I have one exactly like this, and the reason I bought it in the first place is because my grandmother had one exactly like this. So you know this has some age to it. I don't know who makes it, but it's in fantastic condition, and they work wonderful. I love mine, so I got that. I got this cool cork. Look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I glue this back on, though, because I don't want it to come off. The cork um, is, you know, not in the best shape, but I just thought it was awesome. It was in the box with all the other stuff. Um, I did get some really cool tins. This one is the Pickwick Coach. Arriving at the White Heart Inn. So, look at that. Isn't that cool? And this had uh, toffee in it from England. The world's premier toffee, Thorns. Let's see if I can open it. I did have it opened earlier, and it's in really good condition, too. So that's a cool tin. But wait till you see this one. I gotta, I gotta um, get my goo gone out and clean up this tape that's on here. But this would be perfect for Valentine's decor. Oh, wow. Now, it's not in the best shape on the back. But, hey, it's old gotta expect some wear. Um, I don't even know how old it is, actually, but um, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna try to clean up, get clean up all this stuff off of here with some goo gone. I'm gonna get some of that undo stuff, too. And then I got this one. Now, this is dirty, but I just thought this was so pretty with the flowers on there. Look how pretty. They almost look like toll painted flowers. And they just might be. I'm not sure. Um, no markings on the tin. I have no idea what was in it. But you could really use it for anything. So I got that. I really like that one. Um... I got this very cool, this is a hand-forged Everlast Metal, this really cool picture, right? Look how cool that is. It's got to be washed, but I thought even for just for decor, that's where the masking tape was. I, I'm going to have no goo gone left by the time I'm done. This was the second time I was at this sale, um, and I didn't realize it at first until after I was in the house looking around. And so a lot of the stuff had price tags on from the last time they did the sale. So it's real hard to get it off once it sits there for quite a while. So what you going to do? All right. Then I got this awesome carving set. Look at those handles. They have to be Bakelite. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I got this purse because I just thought it was really cool. Take this stupid masking tape off. If I can get it off. Oh, boy, this is going to be a pain right in the keister. The keister. Remember that word, the keister? I don't know where that came from in my brain. Um, but anyways, <laughs> um, 
My grandma, she never, my mom's mom, she never said keister. She said dupka, which is Polish for your butt, apparently. Dupka. But anyways, got this cool purse. I thought it was really pretty. Especially like for fall. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Hold it like that. There you go. And it's in really good condition. It's got nice clean insides. Um, oh, look. It's got a pretty little, little dangle thing on the handle. And yeah, it's got the two compartments. Um, and there's a zipper pocket on the inside. Now this side is plain. So one side is plain and the other side is jazzed up. So you could wear it either way. I liked it. I thought it was pretty. Um, <laughs> talk about Carmen Miranda. Holy heck. <laughs> so, talk about fantastically tacky. All of this lovely plastic fruit, but I bought it for the pot. Oops. This is a McCoy Moon and Stars pedestal fruit dish, fruit bowl. And it is in excellent condition from what I can see. This is the reason I bought this. Yes. It, look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Maybe I should take the fruit out and, yeah. You know, I could use it uh, for a Halloween costume. I could be Carmen Miranda one year, you know? All right. So I got that. Then I got this set. Um, these are not marked sterling, so, but look at, there's these three big, um, coasters. I'm assuming this would be for like a bottle of wine or a bottle of champagne, a bottle of vodka. There's two of the brass and one of the silver. And then it came with two of each of the coasters. So I thought this was a really nice set. Uh, I really like this set, so I'm glad I grabbed it. I wasn't going to, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. So there's the set. Um, I also got this plate, but I, it was really dirty, so um, I took a chance on it. I didn't realize that it had all of this crazing and, like, um, discoloration. See that? Unfortunately. And it is um, Wedgwood. It is uh, CF, uh, CF Etruria, whatever. Made in England, Wedgwood embossed. So I got it, but it is, you know, it does have the discoloration, you know? So, I mean, if anything, you could use this, you could put a candle on it, you could use it as a, a plate underneath, you know, a plant or whatever. What the hey? Sometimes you have to take a chance, you know? Oh, dang it. Uh, nope, that has not lit, lit up, so. Oh, there it goes. Oh, see? It starts to light up, and then it goes out. Now it's, now it only does it, oh. Hang on. Huh. It's really weird. When I touch it in a certain spot, it lights up. 
Now it's not going to do it because I got it in the camera. Anyways, whatever. I wonder... It's obviously the little uh, bulbs in there are burnt out or burning out. Okay, um, I did get this. Um, I think this is probably Fenton, but no, I don't think it is, actually. Uh, the hobnails are not big enough. Yeah, I do not believe that this is Fenton, but it's really pretty. It's this pretty ruffled um, little bowl, milk glass. And see, the, the, the hobnails are very small and they are not pointy. So I do not believe that that is Fenton. This is probably like maybe Westmoreland or um, Imperial Glass, somebody like that. I did get some linens. I got this. these two cute, I have to wash all this stuff, these two cute little Christmas towels. Um, I got some doilies. I'll just run through them quickly. Got this one. This is a nice big one. It's the same pattern as this one. It's just um, a little bit darker cream color and it's bigger. Then I got this one. This is the same as well. And this one is white. And there is some staining, so like I said, I have to wash them, see what happens. I also got this one. This one's perfect for uh, spring. Pretty colors there. Then I got this one. That's pretty. And I think that was it for the doilies. Then I got, this is a round lace um, table cover. It would probably uh, work well um, on a very small round table or on one of those little side tables that you can get to put over the top of a, of a tablecloth. It's really pretty. So I got that. I got a like I said, they all need washing. Oops. Then I got um, this. This is just a little runner. White runner with the pretty, um, pretty trim. Uh, I did get some towels. Oh, boy. I hope the stains come out of these. I took a chance. Let's see, look at the staining on there. Pretty pink design. So we'll we'll be soaking those in some uh what do you call it? Um yeah. Uh I got this cute little towel. This is very stained, but I'm gonna see if I can wash this and get some of the discoloration out of it. See the yellowing on there? But it's a towel. And I was saying something before and I forgot what I was saying. Anyways, I did get these two um, towels. This is too cute for a kid. I don't know why I got it though, but I did. Uh, it is, uh, made in the USA. Look at this. <laughs> and obviously they had it taped on the wall because there's scotch tape over here. But I thought that was really cute. Could actually make it into a pillow as well. Get rid of this tape. Then I got this, another, um, this is another runner. 
just a plain white runner. I have no idea. Oh, this is from the uh, dry cleaners, I guess. <laughs> All right. And then I got this set. Let me take this tape off of here. Um, this, as soon as I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that reminds me of an Italian restaurant. It is this tablecloth with matching napkins. Now, as you can see, these are a little yellow. Um, I do have bluing, so I might throw some bluing in here. I don't know how big this tablecloth is. I didn't actually open it up. Wow, it's, it's got some staining on it. Um, it's rectangular. It's pretty long. Yeah, it's pretty long. And then, of course, twice as wide. But, yeah. So, I did pick that up. So, those are all the linens that I got. I'm going to probably just throw those right downstairs. So, now, the last items... So, as I was saying, they had a collection of Fostoria Cubist. They had uh, different types of glasses and whatnot. I steered away from the glasses, but I did get some other items. So, I did get, and I didn't notice it till I got it home, I did get this Fostoria Creamer and Sugar, but, after I got it home, I noticed there's a big chip right here. I'm sure you can see that. So I was kind of PO'd about that, but what are you going to do? So I got that. I got this really pretty uh, dish. They all have to be washed canoe style. Then I got these, two of these. Now I found one of these at um, Goodwill, um, but I don't know um, if it, the one I found at Goodwill was Fostoria or not, but these are definitely Fostoria. And I'm not exactly sure what they're used for. I think I guess I'll have to look in that book to see what they are. Um, you could put a candle in it. Binks is having a fit over there because my son, he has food. And if you give him something, all he does is play with it. He doesn't eat it. So, I got those. He just wants this. He's very vocal. I got a set. There were 13 of these plates. These would be like salad plates. Look at those. They are gorgeous. Beautiful. Hey, can you keep it down over there in the peanut gallery? And then the last item I got was this beautiful basket. Look at that. Just gorgeous. So, that was everything I got at the estate sale, you know. Um, so now, let me tell you how much I spent. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? Four dollars and thirty-two cents. They were doing a fill a bag at one o'clock. So the bag, my bag that I originally started when I first got there at twelve, they gave to me for a dollar. 
So I got four bags full of stuff for $4.32. Yipper! That was amazing. Yep. So, that's my thrift haul for you guys. Talk about thrifty. Holy moly. Yes, indeed. Now, that's my kind of bargain. And I got some beautiful Fostoria pieces. So, guys, if you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a video or go live. And don't forget to share and comment. I do get behind on my comments, but I do eventually try to read them all. So, guys, I'm going to get going, and I hope, hope to see you uh, in my next video. All right, everybody. Take care.